down a little bit. And sometimes I'm up here in the silence and I'm like, fuck, ah, it's just me. <laughs> That's cool. It'd be weird if it was like all of you, like, fuck yeah! <laughs> I should be in a meeting right now instead of just bombing. <laughs> I don't, I don't usually like telling people I used to do heroin you know, because like, they always have the same question. I was like, oh, what does it feel like? And I have to be like, it's fucking dope, dude. <laughs> and I see you nodding in the dark back there. She does. Heroin's fucking awesome. Do you have any? Just kidding. It's been a long time. It's been a long time. I'll be purchasing shit for Stay for me. I don't like telling people I used to do that. It's, it's annoying, but like, I hate when white girls compare basic shit to being like heroin. Because I've shot up before and it's nothing like a pumpkin spice latte. <laughs> Heroin's way better than coffee, guys. <laughs> I never knew that. I never shot up and was like, hey, let's go to brunch, you know? Unless brunch is more heroin than fuck yeah, dude. Let's fucking go to brunch. Take five brunches, please. <laughs> Some of the people I used to do it with, they would mix it with their own spit or like toilet water to shoot up. Yeah, disgusting. I used to mix it with Fiji water because I'm not a piece of shit. It's <laughs> part of the reason why my addiction costed so much because I was buying three dollar bottles of water and then, uh, to shoot up. It's not very responsible. <laughs> I hooked up with a squirter once. Now that's just a cooler way of saying I uh, a girl pissed in my bed once. That's <laughs> how that is. It's a lot cooler in the movies, you know? I get to go home from that apartment they pissed all over me. I never warned you either. Like, a little warning would be nice. Like I just met you on an app three hours ago. Wasn't planning on washing my sheets at 3 a.m., but here we are. It's my fault. In my 30s, I should have two sets of sheets by now. All the guys in half of that only have one set of sheets. It's going to be dude. It's 20 bucks. Squirter was Mexican, so after we were finished, she said, You got good dick, bro. <laughs> Can I just fuck a homie's doll? <laughs> That's how she started, too. She was like, You got good dick, bro. Like, on paper, that's a compliment, but the way she said it sounded like a threat. Like, Are you about to stab me or what? She kind of lunged at me when she said it. You got good dick, bro. <laughs> I don't use dating apps anymore because a few years ago I had an abortion with an Asian girl from Tinder. It's a true story. Uh, that was the first time I had Korean takeout. <laughs> Lunch special V, that's why. It's she told me to come inside of her, she can't get pregnant, and I fell for that. Um, she also couldn't come, so either she got the two mixed up or I just heard her wrong. They were going to swipe left on the baby. <laughs> That's fine if you didn't like that joke. I paid $250 for the joke. <laughs> it's half the amount because she was cool. You know? I'm Italian, so I grew up with a really racist grandfather. I was a kid, so I was too young to know that he was racist. So up until I was 10 years old, I thought the family living down the street were actual raccoons. <laughs> so now every time I see a raccoon, I'm like, hey, Mr. Johnson, it's <laughs> Say, go back to your country, and it's like that used to be racist, Grandpa. But now it's just good advice. Let's like, <laughs> all go back to Mexico. You know, he was actually in Squid Game, but he called it the Korean War. <laughs> just kidding. That's not what he called the Korean War. Um, 
he's dead now, though. He died of lung cancer when I was 12. You know, he smoked a carton of Campbell non-filter cigarettes every day for like 30 years. He loved smoking, but he would have hated that he died with black lungs. <laughs> I told that joke to my mom, because it's about her dad, and she was like, he wasn't racist, they all talked like that back then. It's like, yeah, mom, they were all racist back then. <laughs> Thanks guys, I'm Mario Tonti, you guys are welcome.